Hi and welcome to this week's tapping meditation. We're going to be doing some tapping for healing. Now, we're not saying, I'm not saying that tapping is going to heal whatever your issue is. I can't make any guarantees on that, although it might. But how tapping can help with the healing process is to release any blocks to healing uh, by freeing up your energy meridians and everything is energy and most conditions are caused by when the energy gets blocked. Now I'm not a doctor so this is not intended to be a substitute for medical advice. I use tapping in my own life and it has helped me clear my own blocks to healing and start to help me to, to rebuild my life after many challenges. So it's a regular practice for myself and I invite you to try it. As far as we know, it doesn't cause any harm. The worst that can happen usually is that it won't it won't work and there won't be any effect and you'll, you won't be any worse off than you are now. But mostly, and from my experience, I always feel better afterwards. And I try to make it part of my daily routine to clear anything that I'm feeling, I'm feeling stuck on. And if, the, if you're new to tapping and you're unsure about it, go and take a look at my um, introduction to EFT video which explains about the tapping points but really you don't even need to do that if you don't want to you can just follow along and trust your intuition about what's right for you because when you repeat after me and I do invite you to say it out loud if you, you know if you've got the space to do that maybe not if you're on a crowded train or something but um but it I I believe it it has more power when when you say the words out loud and replace them with anything that feels right for you if my you know if my words don't quite resonate with you so i would just give yourself a little shake just get the energy moving around the body just move any way that feels right for you And whatever position you're in, whether you're sitting or standing, take a deep breath. Feel the ground beneath you. And if you are sitting and it's possible uh, for you, I do advise having your feet flat on, on, on the floor because it helps to ground you. And taking some deep breaths and close your eyes and tune in to how you're feeling right now. Where um, a zero is there is absolutely nothing getting in the way of you healing. It's great. And 10 is the most intensive that it can be. I don't believe I ever get over this. I'm stuck. And this is subjective. So just go with your instinct about what number is right for you. And that will just help you at the end to see whether anything has shifted or not. And hopefully the number will go down after you've done the tapping. So we, we start by tapping on the side of the hand. Either hand, doesn't matter. Just gently with three fingers and breathing. Don't forget to breathe. Even though I feel sometimes there's blocks to my healing and it's not happening as quickly as I'd like, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself.
even though it seems to be taking forever to heal. I completely and deeply love and accept myself the way I am now. even though I never seem to be able to heal completely. I deeply love and accept myself. And if you feel any emotions coming up, that's okay. I'm just tapping on the eyebrow point. Why is this healing taking so long? Side of the eye. Sometimes it feels as though it's two steps forward and ten steps back. Under the eye. I wonder if I'm ever going to make any progress on my healing journey. the nose. It feels as though this has been going on for ages and I've not got any further. Mouth, under the chin, sorry. And I'm still no further along. Collarbone. And things are just as bad as they've always been. Under the arm. And some days I wonder if they're actually getting worse. Top of the head. It's so frustrating. I just want to heal now. Side of the eye. I wish I could just make a wave a magic wand and all my issues would be gone. Into the nose. And then I would be free to get on with my life. In, and I wouldn't have any problems at all. Collarbone. But I'm still stuck here. If the healing is happening at all, it's so slow I can't even notice it. And it makes me feel angry and upset. Top of the head, sorry. Eyebrow. I'm so upset and fed up with this. Side of the eye. Other people don't seem to have the same problems that I do. Under the eye, why does everything always seem to happen to me? Under the nose, it's always me, never anybody else. Chin, I seem to have more problems than anyone I know. Collarbone. Other people seem to have it so much easier than me. Under the arm. They don't have to do all this healing work. They just get off. Everything just seems to work for them.
I wish I could just get it over and done with. Eyebrow point. But is what my mind is telling me actually true? Side of the eye. There are plenty of things that I've healed from in the past. Under the nose, and this is no different. Under the chin, my body knows how to heal. Collarbone, it wants to heal. Under the arm, it's designed to heal. the head. Maybe it's me that's stopping the healing. Eyebrow points. If I was somehow able to get out of my own way. Side of the eye. My body would do what it naturally wants to do. the nose and then it would heal all on its own. Chin. As long as I do the things that are in my power to help it along and not get in the way. Collarbone. So if I need medical advice I get medical advice. If I need any herbs, medicines, pills, potions, I take whatever works for my condition. Top of the head, I help my body along instead of hindering it. Eyebrow point. And I have faith, as long as I do everything that I can, my body will do the rest. So I choose now to clear anything that's blocking and getting in the way of healing. Whether that's anything in my mind anything in my body under the chin anything in my emotions collarbone and anything in my soul under the arm I release it now and let it all go. Top of the head and let the healing be begin. Stop tapping, take a deep breath. And as you breathe out, close your eyes. Feel the ground beneath you and tune in to how you're feeling now. And notice if the number shifted or not. And whatever that number is, don't judge it. If you feel that you want it to be lower, you can go back and do the tapping again. Doesn't have to be perfect. If it's gone down a few points, then maybe that's good enough for now. You're on the way. So, thank you again for tapping with me today. And as we heal ourselves, we heal the world. 
and I will see you again very soon. But in the meantime, take care, go well, lots of love.